Hello, and welcome to Neo's Vineyard Experience at Deep Sky in Wilcox, Arizona. For those of you who have not had the opportunity to watch the original webcast demonstration, these next few minutes should be a quick way for you to become familiar and comfortable navigating through the site. We have replicated the actual interface used by the vineyard owners, but in a read-only version so that you can click through and view everything that is happening at Deep Sky, but do not have the ability to actually affect operations at the vineyard. To reiterate, everything that you're seeing is in fact real. The overall experience of the interface is to physically take you to the vineyard from anywhere in the world using any device and allow Neo to facilitate a conversation between you, the farmer, and every aspect of the vineyard. Let's get started. This is the landing page. From here, you can get a quick and simple view of the most important events or conditions currently happening at the vineyard. In addition to infrastructure, weather, and irrigation, you can also see the last five events from the scrolling event log in the bottom left and can submit an annotation or field observation using the plus button in the top right. Throughout the interface, you may see a NEO alert. This is how NEO communicates with you based on observations that it is making in the field in combinations with observations you're making in the field. Let's take a closer look at some of the main components. This is the infrastructure page where you can view the health of the irrigation hardware. NEO is constantly monitoring the overall water used and well level at the vineyard, mechanical diagnostics and water flow from the main pump, PSI drop caused by the irrigation filter, and chemical tank metrics including the amperage, depth, and pump flow. Because NEO has full control of the infrastructure, it can also use this information to turn the pump off if the weld level drops too low, use the diagnostic data it's sensing to predict failure of mechanics such as the pump, or suggest tasks that could optimize the overall performance of your irrigation system. Let's go back to the landing page and take a closer look at irrigation. Although you will not be able to turn irrigation on or off through this read-only site, there is still quite a bit of functionality to explore. Here on the left side, you'll see the control center. This is where you can set schedules and view progress. The map in the upper right shows each watering zone, designated by its number. By clicking on a zone, you can take a closer look at the current conditions within that zone, such as valve stats, current irrigation progress, and historical irrigation information. Scrolling down, you are even given access to current soil moisture in the ground within that zone, as well as specific soil moisture conditions at six distinct depths. Schedules are made by choosing the zone you'd like to water and determining time or volume in gallons per plant as a control metric. Although you can't actually start the irrigation, if a zone is in fact watering a deep sky, you will notice the zone turn blue on the map, the valve open to show real-time flow, and the progress activated. If you would rather have Neo optimally water the vineyard for you instead of building and monitoring daily schedules, you can teach Neo how you'd like to water. You do this by choosing a zone, setting the soil moisture threshold you'd like Neo to maintain, and then setting the importance of the root depths that you're most concerned about. Neo will then calculate a weighted soil moisture level based on your weighted depth values and water the precise amount of volume to maintain the weighted soil moisture level within the upper and lower threshold. If you teach Neo how to water each zone to meet your particular needs, you can flip from manual to Neo, and Neo will take over watering responsibilities until instructed otherwise. This won't start the water through the read-only site like it would on the actual site, but in this case the plants would now be requesting water from NEO based on your teaching. NEO then prioritizes the 12 zones based on the highest need for water and then delivers the optimal amount of water to the zone before moving on to the next one. Scrolling down this page you'll notice that you can view real-time conditions of the plants themselves. These conditions include leaf wetness, measuring water content on the leaves of the vine, solar radiation measuring the intensity of sun on the plants themselves, dendrometer measuring the water uptake through the stem of the vine, temperature and humidity above the canopy, and temperature and humidity within the fruit zone, which is measuring the effectiveness of the canopy. NEO uses these metrics from the field in conjunction with the vineyard environmental conditions, which we'll take a look at now, to make suggestions that may not be apparent to the farmer, such as this frost warning. 
All the weather metrics seen on this screen are ultra-local from either an on-site weather station for current and historical data or the dark sky application for forecast data, giving you a past, current, and future record of the vineyard at all times. As mentioned earlier, you can submit an in-field observation or annotation while you're at the vineyard. This is additional data inputted into the NEO system that can't come from sensors or machines, but rather must come from your sight, smell, taste, and feel of the plants and grapes as a farmer. This is one of the many ways in which NEO mixes the art of farming with the science of hard data. Let's take a closer look at how this works. Clicking on the plus sign takes you to the annotation input screen. If physically at the vineyard, NEO uses the GPS sensors in your mobile device to locate where you are in the vineyard down to the specific row. Because you're not at the vineyard, you can actually choose the varietal and row to input the annotation. Choosing next allows you to move on to begin inputting what you would hypothetically see, beginning with quality. This includes color, which changes to a yellow spectrum if located in a white varietal, flavor, quality, and chemical metrics. Moving on, you can continue to answer questions about the canopy, the fruit, pests and disease, and lastly, submit notes or pictures. All of these questions you see are configurable by you, the farmer. Although clicking post will not actually submit in this case, this information submitted by the actual farmer may cause Neo to send suggestions based on the answers given or even take control if allowed. The event log gives you visibility into the historical actions taken in the vineyard. As a farmer, this allows you to better understand what you were doing and how your vineyard was performing from year to year so that you can prove each season. In addition, NEO is collecting this information, learning, and continuously getting smarter from each year. So this is the NEO Vineyard experience. Now that you understand it a little better, we encourage you to spend some time navigating through it for yourself and listening in to the conversation between the farmer, Deep Sky, and NEO.